All right, so um, this will be pretty cool. Um, I'm going to show you how to find the maximum or minimum point of a parabola. Uh, and that point is called the vertex uh, of the parabola. So for example, um, here's a parabola, which is the graph of this quadratic function, y equals 2x squared plus 4x plus 3. Uh, you know, So quadratic functions have this form, f of x or y or whatever you want to call it. The output of the function is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where these a, b, and c things are are just numbers, and a can't be uh, zero because um, this term would go away, and it would just be a linear function, not a quadratic function. So a has to be something other than zero. Um, um, so for example, here a is two, b is four, c is three. Okay, so I've got um, the graph of this function, and it's a parabola. It's this curve thingy. And there's uh, here's the vertex. Uh, in this case, it's a minimum because it's the lowest point on the on the parabola. Um, if I had a parabola that went like this, that's a really sloppy one. Um, but the vertex would be up here, and it would be a maximum because it's the highest point, right? So how do you how do you actually find um, the, the max or min? How do you find the vertex? Uh, besides, I mean, you could pop it into a graphing calculator or a graphing program online or something, and just look at it and just, you know, there's the there's the vertex. Um, we can also calculate the coordinates of the vertex, um, and I'm going to show you a cool way, and it's going to involve calculus, which is several years away for you. Um, but this is very easy, and this is probably not the way that they're going to show you in school. So I'm kind of excited about that because I like to be rebellious. So this is very simple. So um, first, let's notice something. At the vertex, the slope of the parabola is um, 0. It's a straight line. right? So slope is the steepness of a line. right? Well, you know, when, usually when you're talking about slope, you're talking about the slope of a straight line. There's just one slope, right? Uh, if um, you know, you might have a line that's like like this, for example. The slope is uh, two because you go up two and over one, up two over one, up two over. You know, there's just one slope, two. But on a curved line, the slope is different for every point in the line. You know, it's here it's pretty steep. Oh, it's getting shallower, 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 shallower. Oh, all of a sudden here at the bottom, the slope is a horizontal line, uh, which means it has a slope of zero, right? And then here it's getting steeper again, steep, 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 right? So uh, for lines, the slope is just a number. You know, it has a it has a constant slope. So for example, this one two. For a curve like this, the slope is actually going to be an equation that tells you um, the slope at any given point. So here at this point, uh, x equals negative 1. The equation for the slope would tell me that the slope is 0 there. OK? So the equation for the slope of a curve is called the derivative. And it's very easy to find for uh, quadratic functions, so don't panic. Um, this is pretty cool. Uh, the derivative is simply uh, 2 times a. And what you're doing is actually taking this exponent bringing it down front. Um, so 2 times a uh, x plus b. That's it. So so the derivative of this, um, the derivative or the, or the, the change in y over a change in x, the slope, Slope is just change in y over change in x, uh, which we could, you know, we could symbolize with deltas like this, or we could just call it dy, dx is how they do it in calculus class. So let's let's do that. So the the equation that says what the slope is at any given point on this parabola is just two times a uh, times x. So it would be four x, and then plus b. So b is 4. Okay, I'm, I'm using a, b, and c uh, in the sense here. So a is 2, b is 4, c is 3. So the, the derivative, the equation that tells you what the slope is, is um, 2 times a, 
in this case, 2 times 2 plus b. So 4x plus 4. So that's it. So um, I want to know when this slope is 0. So I say 0 equals 4x plus 4. Now, I, now I'm just, this is algebra. So um, subtract 4 from both sides because I want to get x by itself. Negative 4 is equal to 4x. Um, divide by 4, divide by 4. So we have x equals negative 1. That means the slope is 0 at negative 1, which we could see. Here's the point x is negative 1, and the slope is 0 there. So then I could, I could plug this point back into my original equation um, to get the y value. So I, so I, you know, back to my original equation, I want to see what's the value of y when x is negative 1, because I want the coordinates of, of the vertex. So I know the x coordinate is going to be negative 1. Now I got to find out what the y is. So I got to plug that into the equation that tells me what's the value of y for any value of x. So that's 2. Now I'm plugging in negative 1 um, for x plus 4 times x plus 3 is equal to y. Um, uh, so uh, negative 1 squared is, is just 1. Uh, times 2 is 2, so we've got 2. Uh, 4 times negative 1 is negative 4, and then plus 3. So 2 minus 4 is negative 2, plus 3 is 1. So when x is negative 1, y is positive 1, which we can see there. Negative 1, positive 1. All right, so those are the steps. Find the derivative of the equation, or of the function, uh, which is 2 times a times x plus b. Find the value of x where the derivative is 0. Plug x into the original equation to find y. And then, you know, th that'll give you the coordinates of the vertex of the parabola. So let's try um, with another example here. So uh, we could graph this with the graphing calculator. This is pretty complicated, right? I mean, this would be a pain. This would be a total pain to graph by hand. But I want to know um, what's the, where's the vertex? What's the max or min? Um, point. You know, I could plug that into a graphing calculator and you know move the little arrow around and yada yada. But this is a cooler method because it uses calculus, even though you're not in calculus class. So, okay, step one: find the derivative um, dy dx is uh, two times a. Okay, so a is negative three, b is twelve, c is negative seven. Okay, the derivative is two times a, so that's two times negative three, which would be negative six times x, so negative 6x, um, uh, plus b, so plus 12. Um, so now I want to find out, well, when is this equal to 0? When is my slope 0? When, when is the point, uh, where is the point on the curve where the, the line tangent to that point is a, a horizontal line? Because that's, that's going to be my max or min, right? You know, if, if I have if I have a max like that, the top of that is going to be a straight line too. The slope of the top of that is going to be a straight line. line. Okay, so I want to set set that equal to zero. So zero equals negative six x plus twelve. Now I'm just solving for x. Negative twelve, negative twelve, negative twelve equals negative six x. Now I just divide by negative six to solve for x. So negative 12 divided by negative 6 is 2. It's positive 2. x equals 2. So my uh, my vertex is going to be located at 2 something. Uh, so I know that's the value of x where that um, where that parabola either bottoms out or, or, or reaches a maximum. Um, now I want to find out what's, the, what's my value of y when x is 2. I know that the slope is 0. But I don't know what the court, the y coordinate is when x is 2. Um, so I plug that back into my original equation. So I've got negative 3 times 2 squared plus 12 uh, times 2 uh, minus 7. So 2 squared is 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Uh, 12 times 2 is 24. Then we've got negative 7. So negative 12 plus 24 is 12. And then minus 7 
is equal to 5. Um, so when x is 2, y is 5. When x is 2, the slope of the curve is 0. So we know that's a max or a min. So my vertex, or my max or min, um, and actually it looks like it'll be a, a, a max because this is a negative number, so it's probably a parabola that's flipping downward. Uh, my vertex would be located at 2, 5, the points um, x is 2, y is 5.